Oh, so this is our bulk uh, blog content writer. It writes 3,000 word blog posts for you. All you have to do is literally put in the keywords. I'm just going to show you two for now. Uh, two quite different ones. I'm going to get it to run. And what it does, it will draft 3,000 words for you. It will wrap it in the HTML. It'll use a mix of different types of HTML. So use headings and bullet lists and bold. So it's a nice kind of variety. And um, confirms how many words are in there. We'll draft two images for you to choose from, um, and then yeah, you can have use them in the image however you want, in the article however you want. It, it comes up with five ideas for a page titles, five ideas for URL slugs, and five ideas for meta descriptions. And um, once it's done, them they'll just appear here. That's just from the last one, and um, but the new ones will appear here, and you can just choose which one, or you can just leave it to default to the first one. And um, it writes an FAQ for the article and that will go on the end of the article and then it writes that in schema as well valid schema that you can use on your website so that'll hopefully help you get those um little snippets in google um, and then we have two export options to actually send it to your cms so we've got um wordpress posty which i'll show you in a sec which will if it's a free plugin you can install and then the tool will be able to literally just send it off straight to your um blog as either a page or a post and then we we'll just have a export where it just saves the file as a csv file and then you can upload it however you want or you can use wordpress at all imports if you'd like to use that and so it uses obviously open ai's gpt if you haven't used that before and um, you get 18 dollars free credit i think is i haven't checked properly but i think it uses like 20 cents or 30 cents per article so you get quite a lot for your money and um, for free it's got little tool tips on it that'll kind of show you how to use it um, you can pause at any point whilst it's running and change kind of what it's planned on doing. So if I didn't like its ideas for images, um, I could just pause it and type something else in and then it would just go with that. Um, or I could just delete the image idea on the images and ask it to run them again. Um, back the images up on your Google Drive. So you'll get a little... Um, that's just the code for, the, for the, the image, the file. You can search for that if you want to find it. It'll all be in a folder on your Google Drive, all the images. Um, it uses the first one, so if you don't like the first one, you can just delete it and it'll run the second one. It'll use the second one that's about to draw. And um, like at golf clubs, got a bit wrong whether this <laughs> a little extra bit is here. Um, not that keen on that one either, so I'll just show you as an example. So I literally um, delete those and just run it again. It basically just fills in the gaps, so anything you're not sure on. Like you could even go back and change the plan, for example, before it writes the article, and then it will write your plan in instead. So you, yeah, you got a lot of control on what you can do there. Um, comes up with the all, yeah, does all that as I showed you before. Um, do, do, do. And for, if you don't want the images, for example, or you don't want the FAQ, um, you can just click skip there and then it'll skip past that. It won't send it to GPT. And then if you want it back, maybe you can do it there. Um, so yeah, that's that. The, yeah, uh, the images are on a folder. Google Drive, it names the image after the keyword, so it'll be called like SEO-4-Lawyers as the file name with something else on the end. Um, you can tweak the prompt as well, as you can see here, so you can see all the prompts, so you can actually change this if you want to um, tailor the content that, that's come out, so you wanted to write the article in a slightly different way or whatever, you literally um, just type it in here so you might say if you want a longer article you could say make a 20 point plan and instead and you'll have a monstrously long article yeah that one that one's a bit better for the golf um, so that's fine so you got those so url slug it depends on which um, import method export method you're going to use so posty doesn't actually let you choose the slug um, but the, it'll include in the csv file if you want to do that one i think you have to pay for the premium version of posty to do the slug otherwise it just uses uh, the page title um so yeah, doing the faqs now um it has a couple of little technical bits so google sheets normally has a five minute maximum runtime or six minutes and um, depending on the type of account you've got so we've got a little restarter in this so if it gets to five minutes um, it switches off and schedules itself to start again a couple of seconds later and it'll just keep doing that so even if you've got a list of you know 10 or 20 different keywords that you want articles about and um, it'll just keep restarting itself till it's done all those for you and then you can export them all in one go um, it up 
updates here as it's going. So if it hits an error, so if OpenAI are busy, uh, sometimes you get an error, 429 error. So what it will do is it'll update you here so you can see what's happened. It will wait three seconds and then it'll try again. It'll try up to 10 times. Um, so yeah, it's usually managed to, to get through by then. Um, just gonna wait for it to do these last bits and then I'll, I'll show you the import to posty. Um, I'll show you some of the content. What else do we wait? So you can see we've got H2, and we've got some paragraphs, and then if we go further down, we should see some weird, I mean, it can be a bit random, but here you go, we've got some H3 as well. And then we should see some, oh, here you go, so we've got some uh, lists as well with, with the bullet points, and sometimes it throws in a bit of bold in there as well. So yeah, a few lists. Yeah, so it mixes it up, basically makes it look like quite a natural article. You can see it's forgot the paragraphs on some of them, but we have a function um, further along, so it checks for any it's missed that GPT may have missed and kind of manually puts them in with code. Um, so, so fine, that's done. Pulling it all together, and then it says not sent yet. That's all ready then, so there you go, two articles, pretty quick. I mean, if you do it a lot, you can just kind of leave it to run on its own. And then this is the, the page where you um, send it off to Posty, so you've got some settings here you'll see on the left. Uh, so do you want to go as a draft or published, pending or private? Um, a little instructions there, so zero, no comments, one, comments open, and two, comments moderation. And it can either be a page or a post as well, so I don't really use posts, so I'll set that as a page. Um, so GPT, mail to WordPress, and um, you'll see this fill in. Again, you can pause this as well. So if you're doing a lot of articles, you might want to pause it and you might say you want one of them live and another one as a draft or whatever. Um, but send and sent. So now if I go to Posty, my WordPress site, um, I'll go to Posty checks it. Or the list one set to every five minutes, however often you want it to check the mail server, but I'm just going to manually um, run it this time. So um, say I was waiting five minutes. And then we go to the pages of my site and I'll just sort it by date. There you go, you see we have two new articles have just appeared, um, the golf one and the, the law firm one. You can, oh, you can't actually see the time in the corner, but yeah, it, it's now anyway. It's sent it straight away. And then there you go, so you've got your title, you've got your little image, a bit of a weird image, but <laughs> I suppose it goes with improving your swing. And I'll show you some of the different types of content. So obviously there's the headings, just fairly odd number in from the, the original list, so you might have to take that out. Um, but yeah, so there's your bullet list, and then I think we had a few more lists down here on this one. Okay, yep, yeah, and there's your FAQ, and then your scheme will be behind the page as well. Um, I think that's everything. This is just to show you kind of what it does. I'm going to put together a longer kind of tutorial video just to show you the, the features and stuff like that. I mean, to show you in more detail, but I've just showed you basically. Um, but that's it all. You can see it all works, sends off your article, job done, <laughs> um, for, for 20 cents or 30 cents or whatever. So it's quite easy to, once it's all set up, you could be doing, you know, 10 a day or whatever of you know, high quality, quite long articles. Uh, tested, there's nothing in there that uh, that will, that tries to maneuver around it being detected as AI, if you know what I mean. It's, it's, um, but the, I have checked it with a few AI detectors and it goes, scores between 70% to 100% human. Um, so just because it's more complicated than a typical AI piece, it does a quite a good job of tricking the AI detectors. Uh, but Google have made um, several announcements that they don't really mind if the content's AI generated as long as it's good quality content, um, which hopefully this is. Uh, but you can always go through and tidy it up a bit afterwards as well. Yeah, but yeah, you can pull in your keywords, have your 10 articles done. Each, each, however often you want to do that, it's a 10 a day or whatever is supposed to be the magic number, I think, for growing your rankings over time. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's, it's available on the website now, and then the longer video should be out soon as well with instructions. Thank you.